WTI futures opened the session moderately higher, seems supported news from TC Energy that there is reduced operating rates on the Keystone Pipeline from Canada oil sands to Cushing. Temporary, but really got the, uh, seemed like it got the market spooked a little bit. Also news flow from Libya, um, 800,000 barrels a day being produced and a prediction of seeing 1.2 million barrels a day in the next seven to 10 days. The market seemed to be undercut uh, a little bit by global PMIs worse than expected from Germany, uh, France, and also your Eurozone composite, although UK was a little better. Get into the bulk of our session, very volatile, uh, trapped in a very wide trading range. We saw some upside, also saw a push to the downside in the afternoon. The dollar uh, slipping seemed to be a little bit supportive. Um, also, any kind of news flow with regards to August 3rd OPEC Plus meeting. Vortexa reported that um, stationary tankers at sea for seven days dropped 6.3% um, as of last week. And also COVID uptick uh, in China, Japan, even in the US, the seven day moving average is now at a five month high. Baker Hughes rig count came out in the late afternoon. Um, active oil rig count unchanged at 599 and active uh, drilling rig counts actually uptick two to 758. Looking at options, I look at CME Group Seaball. Uh, we got August, uh, I'm sorry, September trading in the 25th percentile at the money vols closed basically unchanged with skew slightly lower as the up variance or call variance is down a little bit on the day, whereas the down variance is unchanged. Option volume fairly uh, uh, steady today, seeing volume in a 95 and 96 strike, also 97 calls. Uh, micro, I'm sorry, E-mini futures volume in WTI continues to be strong. Yesterday, we saw a volume of 30,416, open interest of 4,178.